Welcome, little scientists. It's Gisa. Today, we have a little buddy here. Does anyone know what kind of virus this is? Can you take a guess? If you guessed coronavirus, you would be right. This little virus in real life is teeny tiny. We call it microscopic because you cannot see it with your eyes. You need to see it through a microscope. And this little virus or germ is what is causing all of us to stay home right now and what has caused the whole planet to have to wear masks, be extra vigilant at washing hands, and basically has kept all you kiddos home from school and mommies and daddies home from work. So today, I have a story called Germs versus Soap, written by Dee Dee Dragon and illustrated by Hannah Robinette. Once upon a time, and maybe even right at this moment, there were germs on hands. Of course, germs are so tiny, you can't see them with your eyes. But that doesn't mean they're too tiny to dream of energy cupcakes all day. There is, however, one thing that crushes a germ's sweet cupcake dream. Soap. Germs absolutely, positively do not like soap. Nope to soap. Clean is mean. At germ school, germs learn how to be germy. The teacher asks questions like, why are hands the very best place for germs to be? Because if the kid picks their nose, they use their germy hands and that's how we get in. Ew, kids are gross. That's right. Eyes, noses, and mouths are like open doors for germs. And once they get in, it's time for energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes! You're probably thinking, what are energy cupcakes? Well, they're not real cupcakes. You see, germs survive in our bodies by gobbling up our energy. And when hungry germs see energy, it looks like cupcakes, energy cupcakes. Once the germs finally settle down, they reflect on the importance of being on hands. Lucky for all of us, we're on hands, unlike poor Bjorn way over there. How'd he get so far away? The kid sneezed into their elbow. All germs know that eating lots of energy cupcakes makes them toot a lot. The toot could be a silent toot, a medium toot, or even a loud trumpet toot. Germs don't care. They just have to be stinky because stinky toots get kids sick. A sick kid will start sneezing and coughing so that the germs fly out of there onto someone new. And you know what that means, more energy cupcakes. Unless the germs find themselves right in front of the sink, probably because an adult told the kid to go wash their hands. Have you guys ever been told to go wash your hands? Great, now the kid's on the step stool. The step stool, oh no. I, I feel faint. Oh, snap out of it, Arnold. Luckily for the germs, there's no more soap in the bathroom. Maybe the kid will just wash their hands with water. Water, ha 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 ha. Oh, look at me, I'm so scared of water. But you are actually scared of water, Arnold. It's quite a celebration for the germs, you know, if there's no more soap in the bathroom. In fact, it's officially called a no soap party. All parties must come to an end, especially when an adult is sniffing for the soap smell. Uh-oh, it's the adult's nose right above us. Code 931, code 931, code 931. No, wait, 
What's that mean again? Oh, for Pete's sake. Code 931 is the sniff test, Arnold. It means we're going to get washed. But germs don't give up that easily. They remind themselves that they've been here for bazillions and bazillions of years. They've outlived the dinosaurs for crying out loud. Say it loud and proud. Who are we? Germs. What do we want? Energy cupcakes. What's going to stop us? Soap. It's always a good idea to double check before making any sudden moves. Number one, is the kid on a step stool? Check. Number two, are their sleeves rolled up? Check. Number three, are they reaching for the soap? Check. Number four, do they have a serious look on their face? Check. Number five, if you check, marked everything, you're going to get washed. Ah! Germs know how to rush to the safe zones. Well, some of them. Get between the fingers, under the nails, and on the back of the hands. Move it, move it, move it. Don't fight the bubbles. Just stay inside of them. We're going under in three, two, one. Arnold, get away from the middle of the palm. You're going to get... Ooh, this soap is cold and slimy. Whoa, it's way too slippery here. I can't even hang on anymore. Hey, you know what? This soap isn't too bad. Blah, blah, gah, gah. The germs prepare to get scrubbed for at least 20 seconds. Rub hands palm to palm. Back of hands too. In between fingers, back of fingers. Don't forget the thumbs and under the nails. In all that commotion, the germs get distracted by the bubbles. Look at all these bubbles, it's a bubble blizzard. Bubbles, pretty bubbles everywhere. They're so shiny. But none of them could have been prepared for this moment. Look, I have a bubble butt. Oh no, we've lost our germy layer. Look at us, we're squeaky clean. Squeak. Guys, watch out. It proves to be a little fun for some of them. Hey, look, he's on a bubble. What's up, dude and dudettes? Don't mind me, just surfing down the line. What's wrong with him? Soap fumes. Bruh, is that a shark? Ugh, you know, we're not really in the ocean, right? Right, whoa, it got dark. Who turned off all the lights? Am I in a slide? Whee! This is the drain, Arnold. Oh, look, it's an energy cupcake. Yummy. That's old toothpaste, Arnold. And so the germs go down the drain. The end. That's not the end. There'll be more germs, you know. And there'll be more soap. So, little scientists, we need to make sure we do a good job of breaking those germs down by making our hands sudsy with bubbles, which are made by using that soap and rubbing, 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 rubbing for at least 20 seconds because the germs can hold on for at least 20 seconds. So you need to be able to break down that barrier that they have around them that keeps them safe and keeps them growing and gets you guys sick. Are you ready to make some germs of your own? All right, my little scientists, are you ready to make your own virus in a Petri dish? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a Petri dish. This is what scientists use to grow viruses and bacteria. Uh, you may not have a Petri dish at home and that is totally fine if you just grab a small plate 
or a small little container that's shallow, that is perfect for this project. You'll also need some Play-Doh or some sort of colorful clay, or if you only have white model magic, you can paint it if you'd like. Uh, you may want scissors, you don't have to have scissors, and you may want a pencil or a toothpick, and I will show you how we'll use that in a minute. So really, you can get as creative as you'd like with this. Um, I'm gonna use uh, green, but please, you can use any color you want to make a, um, a base inside my Petri dish. I'm just gonna flatten it out. And go all around the base. And I'm choosing to just use one color one base color, but you can use as many as you'd like. I just want my virus pieces to stick out. We're gonna put, make all our germs. All right, so that's, my base is green, making it smooth. And you can make any kind of shapes you want in here. I'm gonna make a nice long one. Mm, make it a little thinner. Make a couple round viruses like our little coronavirus is round, right? With spikes on the outside. You can make a coronavirus if you want. a little yellow and you can even mix all the colors if you want There's my virus in a petri dish and then if you have the cover, the lid, you can stick it on there and if not, you can just leave it open. Remember to send me a picture of your virus and also remember to support our channel by liking and subscribing.